Airbus has just delivered its first A380 Super Jumbo to the Australian airline Qantas. The carrier should have received the plane two years ago, but the project's had major teething problems on the assembly lines. Despite the long delay, the Australian carrier says it could put in fresh orders for the plane. It's a rare bit of good news for the European airplane maker. Airbus knows it's going to be hit hard by the credit crunch. It just doesn't know how hard yet. Well, that's difficult to say. I mean, anybody you ask in, in industry these days, I think, is uh, a little bit nervous about it. Uh, I think the, uh, the situation is not completely transparent, uh, not for us, nor for most of other people in, in the industry. But certainly we have some concern about uh, the ripple on effect uh, in the industry, the financing. Uh, we'll see. There's talk about 12 more airlines, especially in Asia, going bankrupt over the next six months. What can you tell me about that? Yes, there are some problems, particularly in the US, particularly in India. But if you look, for instance, to the Middle East, the situation is completely uh, different, very confident, lots of new orders, particularly throughout this year. We are looking at each and every airline that is a customer of ours. We're engaging with them in um, uh, proactive discussions about their situation, when they need the aircraft, if they need them later, if they uh, don't need them. We, we, we redeploy certain aircraft slots. That's the daily business of our commercial and uh, financial teams. And I'm not going to speculate about how many aircraft or particularly which air air airlines are, are going to uh, go bust, as you say. I understand AIG is in fact Airbus's biggest customer. One of the subsidiaries of uh, AIG is indeed the biggest customer. Um, and so we're certainly uh, following that um, with interest, but we have every reason to believe that uh, Steve Farsi, who founded ILFC and has been running it very, very successfully, is a great entrepreneur, uh, up, is preparing the right steps uh, to uh, bring ILFC into a, into a good future. It's no secret that uh, he's planning to uh, bring ILFC out of uh, AIG. Um, we're very confident that there will be a solution. The high euro and kerosene prices still have a huge impact on the airlines. What does Airbus think about that? The dollar is now at uh, a strengthened to 140 to 145. That's good news because before he was close to 160. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we certainly appreciate uh, that um, development. I wouldn't call it a trend yet. On the other hand, we were coming from a one-on-one -on -one or, or, or uh, 120 situation. Um, and hence, there's no reason to, to be jubilant about the development of the dollar. We are still watching it very carefully. Our restructuring efficiency programs are geared towards making us more competitive. On the other hand, the kerosene prices, well, that's good news for the airline customers, for sure. I mean, uh, kerosene prices were close to, to 150, I believe. Some airlines were already starting to plan with uh, 200. Uh, thank God that, at least for the time being, does not seem to be, um, seem to be a problem.